Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for April the 9th through the 15th. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for coming back uh, and joining me. And if you're new, welcome. Um, now, uh, I just want to Oh, okay. So first of all, this is your, for your sun, moon and rising. It's always good to check out the other videos. The links will be uh, below in the show more section. This is a general reading, guys. If you'd like a personal reading, um, you know, the information will be there and all kind of through the video at different points. You can click on something. I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> Can't quite remember where it goes. Um so thank you so much for those of you who, who've got uh, personal readings. I really appreciate you and I really enjoy doing them. Now, um, thank I want to thank my patrons too. I have a Patreon page that I just started up. There's links on my uh, YouTube channel or there'll be links in the video and down below. You can check that out. You know, it's another way of supporting me. Uh, now, a little bit about the astrology. Um, now, between the 7th and 10th, well, this is for, you know, this is for the 9th through the 15th, we've got this lovely energy of Venus trining Saturn and Mars. So that's kind of a really nice energy. So we're going to feel that at the beginning of the week. And then on April 14th, we have, well, also, I do have to say that the at the same time, the sun is squaring Pluto. So that's a little challenging. And it's about, look, when the sun uh, squares Pluto, uh, particularly at this time, I think a good question to ask yourself is what, because Pluto is about the hidden things, right? So what is it that I haven't addressed? And and trust me, things are going to come up for you that you haven't addressed and you're going to have to address them. And sometimes it doesn't feel good, right? But when you do, then you can release it and it's something that's done, you know? When, I mean, I know there's something that I haven't done. And, and I keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it. And um, I'm getting, I'm going to get that done before... <laughs> before the sun squares Pluto. I don't want it coming up for me as a surprise. I want to get it done beforehand. Um, now, on April the 14th, uh, Jupiter sextiles Pluto. Now, what this, this will probably have more of an effect on the global. We'll probably get more of, you know, the Me Too, you know, it's about sec bringing out these secrets, right? This hidden stuff. Um, so I have a feeling that we'll have, we'll see more about um, you know, the um, Me Too movement, we'll see more about the Never Again, we'll probably see some uh, corruption and uh, litigation things coming up for, for governments around the world, maybe. Um, so that's the kind of thing. And then on the 15th, we, we see the week out with a beautiful new moon in Aries. Um, and it's conjunct with Uranus in Aries. Now, this is the last time because then Uranus will be moving into uh, to Taurus. So this is about getting up and doing things. It's about that spark. It's about being excited. You know, Aries is that fiery passion. So we're going, it's a really good thing. Well, and it's a new moon, so it's a really good time to start things and definitely, you know, intentions, following things through. And we're going to have that feeling of hope and spring and it's it will be exciting. So that's a really nice energy to end the week. Um, so without further ado, oh, first of all, please like my videos. <laughs> really helps me when you like the videos give me a thumbs up ring the press the little bell and that will notify you of when my videos will be uploaded and um comment i read every comment i really appreciate all the comments and the feedbacks and um what else uh, subscribe if you haven't already and share it on your social media and please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you for tuning in and now let's go to your readings. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for uh, April the 9th through April the 15th. <laughs> it's getting late. Um, the first card that comes up for you guys is Temperance. You know, that just means, look at that, it's lovely. It just means, listen, the mantra for temperance is everything in moderation. So you might have a tendency 
to want to overdrink perhaps extra glass wine or an extra cocktail or two or maybe overeat or maybe gamble or anything that's going to take you out of your feelings that's easy to you know to do so just remember when you're tempted to have that extra glass of wine say you know what maybe I'll have a glass of water instead or when you're tempted to have that second helping maybe I'll have a glass of water instead (laughs) water fills you up temporarily and you know what it's interesting because the card that's clarifying uh temperance is the eight of water which is kind of is that all there is is that all there is my friends so this could be your uh you pro it's it's a disillusionment with how your life is right now and it's like you want something more meaningful in your life and so that can can really drive you to drink <laughs> or to, you know, because you're f- looking to fill that void. And that's what's happening here. And so when you're looking to fill that void, then, you know, seek out a spiritual mentor or a teacher or, you know, try going to church if you're that kind of person or some kind of spiritual group or get, get involved with a group that's going to... Um, or with an activity that's going to fulfill you, right? Because sometimes when we feel like this, it's like we want to drop everything and just leave, you know, go on a, leave all your worldly, worldly goods and go on a, um, what's that word I was going to say? Like, a, you know, when you go on a, a, a spiritual journey, searching for the meaning of life kind of thing. That's the kind of feeling that that, um, that some of you are going through. Now, the next card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles, which is actually known as the Apprentice card. So it's saying, listen, maybe it's time to go back to school, right? Maybe that will fulfill you. Maybe there's something that you want to learn. Maybe, you know, maybe that's what you're supposed to do, you know? This is a good time to study and to and to bring something else into your life that feels more meaningful and it gives you a purpose in life, right? And clarifying it is the queen of water. Yes, darling, yes, do all that. Um, don't forget to take care of yourself because sometimes you can get so busy and you can be there for other people and you're doing so much that you can forget to take care of yourself. And when she comes into a reading, it's saying, darling, you you know, don't forget to look after yourself. Don't forget that you're important too. And yes, everyone around you is important. And it's important to help people and be there for them. But you can't be there for them if you haven't taken care of yourself and you're not feeling good, you know. And then you've got the Ace of Cups. My cup floweth over. This is kind of a new, this could be a new friendship. It could be a new lover. Um, it could be your relationship, you know, being infused with some, you know, falling in love all over again. It's a nice, deeper, meaningful connection. So I think that that's what you're going to get. Now, clarifying it, though, is the Ten of Fire. So it's the same thing almost as this, right? The ten of fire is you've taken on too, you're doing too much. You've got too much responsibility and now's the time you've got to ask for help. And in asking for help, you will get a very deeper connection with those around you. I feel that this is a really good time to ask for the help that you need. Don't be a martyr because sometimes with this card, you can be a martyr. It's like, no, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And also this can be kind of control you want to control what's going on the problem is when you take on that much you can't look she's got all these things on fire you know and she's doing this whole almost juggling but you know one one miss and the whole thing can go up in flames so you know it's very important to delegate when you've got when this card comes into it I feel that look this is what you have to remember everything in moderation That's across the board. Every time you go to do something or take it, you know, gamble, uh, too much alcohol, too much whatever it is, 
too much food, whatever it is for you, um, stop and think and say to yourself, everything in moderation, particularly this week, because I have a feeling that you kind of want to escape, right? Escape your feelings and, you know, relax, delegate. Maybe someone won't do as good a job as you, but guess what? It'll get done. You know, you don't have to be a perfectionist this week. Just allow, just allow, be allowing. That's all I have to say, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. And don't forget to like my video. <laughs> See you next week. To inquire about or purchase any of Mary's services, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.